We're here today with Thomas Bregg talking about Bueller's Cubic Center in Switzerland. First of all, for the business and for the industry, but especially for our customers and for uh, our teams, for the entire company, it, it is a mind opener. It is a, a real world, it is a, a real space. Um, even so that our strategy is very much driven by digitalization. It, it is the, the real and clear next step uh, to show what we can do in a digital world. I deeply believe that it is a, a big door opener and so a big influencer into the confectionery world. Uh, not just thinking about today, not just thinking about tomorrow, but thinking about the next years, the next generations what will change. So will the impact uh, in this world, in the confection world, definitely yes. So the, the, the big challenges, uh, if we think about the future, are of course what are the ingredients of the future, what are the processes of the future, what are the requests of our customers in the future, thinking about digitalization, about safe production. And uh, here in the Cubic we have also startup companies uh, thinking about uh, what could be a subsidy for sugar. Sustainability is a key area for the company. Can you tell me how Cubit fits in with that? Uh, it fits in perfect in the thinking what are the challenges of our next generations. So not just thinking about today, as, as I said before, if we think about the future, the next generation will face a huge challenge with sustainability in, uh, in the future. And uh, so sustainability and energy resource is one of the key drivers. And this building is based on a lot of ideas, how to save energy, how to create a good and safe uh, space for, for us and for our customers. Thank you indeed. And just as a final thing, you were talking earlier about, on a personal level, how much is, of a difference is it going to make to you working in, in an environment like this? Uh, for us and for me as a team and for me personally it is a, a mind opener when you see how work and space can influence how you think and how your mindset is working thank you very much indeed thomas Bell.